Good Saturday morning, guys. It was my turn to make the breakfast, but I kind of got carried away editing, and Michelle couldn't wait any longer, could she? She had a headache because she was hungry, but I was oblivious to all this because, in my defence, I was editing. Saturday, anyway, uh, it's quite warm out. Been out for a jaunt around the garden, done my recycling, cut a few boxes up. Quite, quite pleasant. Weather is getting springy now, which makes it all the worse for being stuck inside, not being able to go anywhere. Uh, we did a little bit of editing on our uh, click and collect for Monday that we've got. Um, I can say, if you've got a click and collect, do not edit it because what happens is you find out that there's loads of substitutions and your price goes up. Yeah. My, that's partly because we added more things on. But, them's the things. Anyway, we're going to have breakfast now. Michelle's just finishing that off. So that means I get to eat it. Moving on. Okay guys, moving on from yesterday where I had my big chocolate haul from Cadbury's, Michelle's got an unboxing. Hang on. Got to give up. Again. No, I don't. Dream box destruction. Okay guys, this is the real reason that I ended up with that Cadbury's box. Michelle wouldn't share. It's got nothing to do with the fact that I wouldn't share and everything to do with the fact that I bought this in case I couldn't get on the Cadbury's website. Or if when I got on the Cadbury's website there was nothing that there was nothing there for me to order. So what I have here is the Hotel Chocolat Happy Easter gift hamper and what we have is a very nice ribbon which I'm going to remove and a very swanky box which I may or may not be able to get open is there a sticker? no it's just stuck it's just tilted Diet chocolate. So good you can't get in the box. Right, so what I've got is forty percent milk chocolate puddles, which is a fancy way of saying um chocolate buttons. Sure. I've got pack of six Caramel City Bunnies, which is milk chocolate with a runny caramel centre. Sure. <laughs> I've got, oh, I'm just taking the lid off that, which I didn't mean to do. So we'll close that back up. The Happy Easter H box, which is fifth, the, 15 fresh eggs for spring, cracking caramels, pralines and tipples. And what's in here is vanilla, raspberry super milk, simply dark, pistachio, pistachio o, illegal gianjira, salted I'm so glad caramel you're reading cream, that. strawberries and cream, boozy simnel cake, salted macadamia and champagne. Sure. Then I've got a box of mini 16 dashing bunnies dressed to impress in solid caramel. Solid, solid caramel chocolate shapes. So that's caramel flavoured chocolate. Sure. And finally, 
some sunny side up eggs. So the dark chocolate ones with the smiley faces are milk truffle. It's just milk truffle. The lighter chocolate ones with the frowny face are sublime sweet white classic whipped cream truffle with a hint of Madagascan vanilla. The happy light brown ones are pecan praline with whipped cream caramel and pinch of sea salt and the dark frowny face ones are roasted hazelnut praline in milk chocolate. Nah, there's none of them that you'll like. You might as well just pass them all over to me now. So they look delicious. Sure. So, <laughs> of course I'm going to share. Like I would honestly be able to take chocolate into this house and not have you eat any of it. I've got this quality testing. I just have to taste it because it might be poisoned. And I'm quite prepared to put my life on the right line for you. Oh, thank you. So I am looking forward to savouring this box over the next little while because unlike Alan, I don't eat chocolate quickly. <laughs> it takes me ages. I've had a bar of Milka chocolate, one of the big bars, and I've had it since before we went into quarantine and I've still got about a quarter of it left. I know, I've been seeing it. It's next to the PC, you know. Yeah, I had some of it yesterday while I was working. Um, I've still got a quarter of it left and I've had it for three, four weeks now. Say that, you're just not normal when it comes to chocolate. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to sampling each and every part of that box. Very much. Moving on. Hi guys, what's happening now is Michelle's going to uh, use me to pick some books for her to read. How many books do I need to pick? Six. Six books, that is. I haven't a clue. But we'll see. We'll see how many I actually pick. And she says, yeah, I'll, I'll read that one. Or many she said, no, I don't want that one. So in, in effect, it becomes Michelle's pick. Hi guys, it's a simple tea tonight. Chicken burger and chips. Whilst watching Red Dwarf, the new Red Dwarf. Which is quite good. <laughs> 